Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full video, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band. And basically last time we did that was back over here. That was in the beginning of November. And also here that was the end of September. And both cases, we just fell apart. So if history is to be uh, is to 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 be a guide here, then this should be easily we uh, fairly where this stops. So last time we were here roughly five days and then it fell apart. Here we were around four to three days and then fell apart. So we have the top of the Bollinger Band and also we have the 50 million average right here. So if this, in, this isn't uh, resistant enough, then the 50 million average will definitely be resistant enough. So there were a few things. For example, this was uh, the lowest um, the US dollar index had been for roughly two years, since 2018. And uh, it was on the edge of being oversold and it basically needed a rally. And we got a very substantial rally here. I did not expect it to rally this much today, but it did. Um, so as a technical um, uh, standpoint, this was kind of expected. So when you when you have these kinds of, 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 of breakdowns and it just continues breaking down, breaking down, then you kind of get lost that it will at some point start rallying. So that is that is uh, that is very normal and uh, and it's uh, it's irritating because you think okay it can't go higher than this and then it goes higher than that. But um, at this point, I think that this is going to be the top. And we can see it basically in the past as well. When we have gotten to these points of the top of the Bullish Band, it tends to break down. It can take to a few days in order to do so, but usually it does break down. And as we have the 50 moving average just above, it is very likely that we'll turn around here and head back at least to the middle of the Bullish Band at the 89. Or 90 and then head towards the bottom of roughly 89.25 so yes if you look at oil for example we can see that we have started this decline that i talked about yesterday and we are most likely going to head towards the middle of the bullish band which is roughly at 50 at this point and that would make a whole lot of sense and uh, these pullbacks are basically buying opportunities uh, we are an uptrend uh, for whatever reason. We are an uptrend. Um, it is not due to demand in the economy. Um, it is probably more due to speculation, but you could uh, focus on the fundamentals of the world economy or you can just trade this. And um, trading against um, against a trend is probably the worst idea you can do. So trading with the trend here, is the best idea and that it means that pullbacks towards the 20 exponential with a stop loss underneath there and a target of roughly 53.8 that is going to be the plan so let's look at natural gas so usually you will see the opposite when oil falls uh, then you see natural gas rally uh, and we also saw that today uh, we are still stuck here at the, uh, between the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. And uh, as long as we don't break above here, uh, we are going to fall. So this is just a continuation of this move here to the downside. Uh, we have fallen, rally, fallen, rally, and now we are rallying again. And we are about to fall back towards the 200 moving average. And after that, if we, that breaks, we'll head down to 2 dollars for for natural gas uh, 50 moving average is significant uh, resistant here it just won't 
start trading above it. If we do start trading above it, then we could see this move in a different direction. But there has been no point here where we have been trading above the dub 50 moving average. So I am definitely a seller in this market at this point and not a buyer. So let's look at copper. So copper is starting to look really interesting. The 20 exponential moving average, which we are testing right at this point, is uh, has been significant support for a very long time. And yes, um, as soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, this will basically skyrocket to the, to the upside. So if you manage to break down from here, then it opens the door to 3.4 and the 50 moving average. And we haven't test, tested them. Um, 50 moving average since back here. So this was all the way down to 303, where I basically said it can possibly go higher from here. And we rallied all the way to 3.7. So uh, my bad, to be fairly honest. I should just have bought it here and hold it. It will be an enormously good trade. So, but at this point, 15 to 20 exponential, that is basically the bottom of this market. So if you pay attention to the US dollar index, if that starts appreciating, the depreciating, then this should go all the way to the top of the bullish band at roughly 3.7. So let's look at gold. So gold has really tumbled today. We are trading underneath the 200 moving average at, uh, at uh, 18, uh, 26, 25. So it continues to fall. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are looking very bearish at this point, but we have been here before. We were here and rallied all the way to the to 1957. It is not expected for this to fall apart. There's a lot of reason for, for this to rally, especially because um, additional stimulus and so on. So I am still bullish in this market. We may see this uh, fall at this current stage, but I'm still bullish in this uh, market. Technical indicators are all looking very bearish, so we'll see. As soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, uh, this will most likely continue to the upside. The target is roughly uh, 1950 first and then to 2000. So let's look at silver. So silver has also fallen. We're or broken down below the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking very, uh, very bearish at this point. But I, if this holds, then it's very likely that we'll turn around here and head back to the highs of 27.87. Um, uh, if we start trading underneath the 50 moving average, that could open the door to these previous lows and also the 200 moving average. So let's look at platinum. So as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly uh, towards the uh, towards the um, uh, twenty exponential moving average, which was uh, expected. Um, we got kind of way up ahead of ourselves, and um, at this point, we are trading above the twenty exponential, and um, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not how far we'll fall. If we find uh, stabilization, if it stabilizes here and trends back up. And that is a trade uh, um, which will target these highs of 11.29. But at this mo moment, technical indicators are turning around. So we'll probably see this fall even further in a Monday session. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied towards the top of the Bullinger Man and then broke down significantly. So it's just more of the same. We are trading in uh, in, in this uh, area here. We have the highs of roughly um, 2.495 and the lows here at the 200 moving average of roughly 2.175. At this current stage, we're just basically right in the middle. So at the closer that we get to the top, that is basically your selling opportunity. The closer we get to the bottom, that's your buying opportunity. We have seen that time and time again. And also the Bollinger Bands offer quite a lot of resistance and support when we get to those levels. So let's look at aluminium.
As you can see, we have fallen below the 50 moving average and we are basically touching the bottom of the bullish band. So this was fairly unexpected. I, I was thinking that, uh, I was thought that the 50 moving average would as, uh, uh, act as a major uh, support here, but it basically fell right, right through it and we are trading well below the 50 moving average. At the current stage, we are at just above the top of the bulletin band. The other technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. So the last time we were underneath the 50 moving average was way over here in the beginning of October. And uh, when we crossed the bottom of the bulletin band, we had this basically enormous rally all the way to these very highs. We had a pullback here, but still this was a very, very nice rally. We rallied from um, 1700 uh, to um, roughly uh, uh, 2070. So a massive rally uh, within only a span of roughly two uh, months. So uh, yes, if that is going to occur yet again, then I'll be all in here. But uh, we'll see when it basically starts turning around. You'll see that in the four hour chart, four hour chart uh, when it starts to rally again. These things the just need to turn around. There's still a lot of room to the downside, so we could see this fall even further uh, to the downside. If we look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, um, and it could give us indication how far we could go. So the first Fibonacci retracement is here at 1926. Um, the next one is all the way down to 1885, but I think that 1900 here should offer quite significant support. So it'll be interesting to see where we are going with aluminium. So look at nickel. We can see that we have fallen also today, which was very, uh, it was, which was expected. We were barely, I need to get this, barely overstretched. And then we fell uh, all the way down to uh, roughly 17, 735. And that was also the previous highs here. That's why we rallied back. But I think that this is only the beginning of this uh, pullback. We'll pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average of roughly 17, uh, 345 before going uh, higher from here. If you look at the technical indicators, they are already, they're ready to, to um, fall to the downside. The CCI is turning around, MACD, Stochastic are flat, and the RSI is also becoming bearish. So pull back towards the 20, stop loss underneath, and the target of these previous highs. That is going to be the plan for this. So let's look at sugar. So we got way over ahead of ourselves, rallied above the 20, uh, the Bollinger Band here, and then now today we have broken down. And I think this is just the beginning of this breakdown. We'll fall all the way down towards at least uh, 016. But I think that the previous highs here and the 20 exponential moving average is where we are going to, uh, to fall to at this um, stage. Technical indicators are turning around. They are still not all of them bearish, but the RSI is and the CCI is, but the stochastic and bulla and MACD are not. So pull back towards the 20, stop loss underneath and the, and the target of these previous highs. That is going to be uh, that is going to be the plan. So let's look at cocoa. We can see that it has tried to rally um, and uh, tested the 50 moving average and then broke down again. And now we're trading underneath the, 20, the 50 moving average. But this is an encouraging, encouraging sign. Um, we did not break towards the 200 moving average and these technical indicators are turning around to the upside. So, uh, so it could be that we will rally towards the top of the bullish band around 2.6 and then go back down. That is plausible. If we start rally, uh, trading above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards 2.75. But is to be seen, it's too early yet. And so let's go to weed as the last one. So we rallied significantly all the way to 691 and then just bang, collapse. So at this point, we are going to head towards the 200, uh, no, 20 exponential moving average or towards 650. So 650 is probably where we'll meet up with the 20 exponential moving average. So we'll travel this way and this will go gradually down to 650 
and uh, there we'll see traders come back in to buy this we are not overbought now but we are on the edge of being overbought technical leaders are turning around very slowly but this needs to fall before it is possible to enter this so hope you find this helpful you are welcome to write to me on patreon if you have any questions otherwise good luck and good weekend Thank you.